Hello friends, once again welcome to the Automation Revolution. In this video, we will learn about OPC configuration. So actually, OPC is Object Linking and Embedding uh, Process Control Driver. So this driver is actually used for uh, third-party communication uh, with any PLC. So for example, if you want to send the data from uh, MATLAB software to uh, TI portal, or if you want to configure uh, Arduino board with this uh, PLC, so in that case, uh, we are using third-party uh, interface. Uh, with Siemens uh, software or any other PLC software so in that case we are uh, while we are using third party software or hardware in that case uh, we need to use OPC server uh, so OPC server will uh, work as a driver for communication so here in this case uh, we will send data uh, from other software and that's, that uh, data will become first in OPC server and from the server it will send the data to PLC we can also send the data from uh, server to PLC uh, so that we will see in this uh, video so first of all uh, you can see in this semantic manager I have uh, selected one uh, PLC so that PLC is semantic 300 and uh, in this PLC I have uh, just taken one beat M0.0 uh, to on of this motor so that beat uh, I will send uh, from the OPC server and uh, we will see uh, how the OPC server can uh, communicate with the PLC from that bit on off. So after uh, making uh, this configuration for the PLC, we will go for OPC server configuration. So first of all, I will select the project and right click and insert new object. So from there, we will select PC system because in this PC, uh, we are downloading this OPC server application. So now uh, we'll open this PC station and uh, we'll go for this configuration. So now we are getting here one window and in this video uh, we will select I general port because uh, the systems uh, configured uh, with I general industrial ethernet port. So that's why uh, we'll select industrial ethernet. So here option is semantic PC station and from there we'll go for uh, industrial ethernet. We are selecting the latest one version. So just drag and drop. Here, this screen is asking about uh, IP address. So this IP address will keep as it is uh, with the system IP. So first, we will select the same subnet with the PLC. Then, uh, we will select the IP address. So you can see uh, right now our system IP address also uh, uh, 7.20. The same IP address we will keep in this. Uh, I general so here uh, the address is 7.20 and same subnet ethernet just press ok and after that uh, we will go for the user application and here we have option as OPC server so different OPC version uh, available and from there we will select the latest one so just drag and drop with I general now uh, after selecting this OPC server, we will press save and compile and we will check whether uh, the system is ok or not and then press this download option. So now we are downloading this OPC server into this PC system and then this OPC server will be activated in this PC system. After downloading this OPC server in uh, PLC uh, in system, uh, we will go for the networking view. So here this option is network, configuring network and we will click on that so you can see now both PLC and Symmetric PC station both are connected with the same subnet industrial ethernet and here uh, we will establish connection between the uh, PLC and OPC. So uh, after selecting this PLC here downside we are getting the option and here I will go for the new connection select the OPC and uh, this connection type must be S7 connection and apply and ok so you can see uh, the connection path we are getting here and both the PLC and uh, OPC IP address we are getting press ok so we are getting here this connection type this then save and compile so here we are not getting any error after that we will go for the uh, PC station and from the OPC server 
so right click on that opc server and go for object properties here we have on s7 and then active here uh, this option is uh, read write read or write so we'll select read and write both option here and then we'll select configure and here one option is configure so now we'll open the plc and here we are getting uh, the variable symbol whatever we have taken in the programming so you can see uh, we are getting here two uh, variable symbol uh, motor and start and stop bit so that we will add in the opc server just click on that and okay after that we will uh, download press okay once again we will download this plc save and compile so now i will uh, minimize this window and once again i will download this plc and pc station So after successful uh, this compilation and uh, hardware configuration, we will open the OPC uh, server. So you can see uh, we have option uh, here, OPC as scout. So I will open that, and uh, from there here we have option OPC Symmetric Net. We'll expand that. Once again, we have this option SYM. So we'll open that PLC, and here we are getting uh, both uh, variable which we have taken in programming. Now I will just drag and drop both the variable into this monitoring window. So this ID automatically uh, will be generated, and uh, from OPC server we will send the data into PLC so here uh, the start and stop uh, means M0.0 bit is uh, responsible for this motor on off so that bit we will uh, make on off uh, from the OPC server so I will press monitoring on off so you can see uh, now this OPC server is activated and uh, here we have option new value so from the uh, new value we will send the data so first i will send the data uh, from this memory bit start and stop so i will click on this new value and uh, right now this value is false means zero and i will make this value true means on so press ok and press right so you can see uh, now uh, we have made this m0.0 bit on and uh, same this output bit motor is also on means true that we can see in plc also so i will open this uh, plc window and i will make this monitoring on so you can see now uh, M0.0 bit is on and this motor Q136.0 this output is also on once I will make this bit off from the OPC so I will click on this bit and make off press ok and write so you can see now value is false and same you can get in this output you can see uh, this type of this OPC server can used for third party interface and in the next video we will uh, interface uh, Siemens NX software which is for designing uh, for uh, 3D software 
and that in that software we will take an object and uh, from this OPC server uh, we will communicate between uh, this PLC and uh, NX software that we will see uh, in the next video so please keep watching our video and uh, thank you very much for watching our video please share and subscribe if you not uh, subscribe at our channel and thank you very much